your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, September the 28th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. The weather pattern is still somewhat complex. Let's get right to the charts. There's a look at the surface map for this morning, and we have high pressure centered over Pennsylvania, which has helped to create a little bit of a wedge pattern that we saw yesterday, but the wedge not quite as strong today. But we are seeing a bit of an inverted trough over the southeastern U.S. that is responsible for some rain, along with a rather complex uh, upper low situation. While the ridge has moved off uh, to along the east coast, we do see a uh, little uh, weak disturbance along the, the Gulf Coast, the central Gulf Coast, that is helping to create a good deal of precipitation, especially just offshore. There's a look at uh, radar, and we can see a lot of that precipitation stretching all the way from the Louisiana coast all the way over uh, to the Big Bend country of Florida. Temperatures across the area this morning, generally uh, in the, the uh, mid and upper 60s across central Alabama. But once again, we're seeing the wind flow bringing that easterly flow down around the southern end of the Appalachians thanks to the uh, high pressure off to our northeast. But uh, that should be weakening somewhat today. Because of the rain along the Gulf Coast uh, and the heavier rains uh, appear to be staying further south, so the flash flood watches are in effect for parts of southwest Georgia, uh, parts of uh, the Tallahassee area over to Mobile, and part uh, the southern counties of Alabama. QPF-wise, it looks like the heaviest rain will stay down along the southern counties of Alabama and the northwest Florida area. Uh, but up here, it looked like uh, on the order of a half to one inch with most of that rain coming probably uh, very late afternoon or into the evening hours and early on Monday. Storm Prediction Center is not outlooking a slight risk area, but they do have a couple of sea text areas in the Four Corners area and along the uh, eastern slopes of the Rocky Mountains. And then on uh, day two, the sea text area continues to be uh, along the central eastern slopes of the Rockies. And uh, while we still are in September, although October is approaching pretty quickly, we do see that the uh, tropics remain quiet with nothing being watched specifically. All right, let's get right to the 06C GFS model run. And there's the uh, maps for today, a surface map for today at uh, 18Z or 1 o'clock, keeping the rain generally along the Gulf Coast area. And uh, taking an intermediate time, let's take a look at a time around mid, uh, or just a little after midnight, about 1 a.m. on Monday morning. And you can see that the GFS is bringing some rain up into central Alabama. And uh, while they may be bringing a little more rain than I think we're going to see, uh, on the order of a half to one inch is probably likely with the heavier amounts of one to two inches, uh, generally south of Clanton and uh, maybe even just south of uh, Montgomery. And you can see that by midnight, the precipital water values have uh, climbed very nicely to uh, two inches and above uh, across the area south of Birmingham. By Monday at midday, the uh, trough is, is edging by, so I think the rain should edge out of here probably uh, by noontime or early afternoon on Monday so that uh, much of the precipitation by midday will be uh, to our east and we should see some clearing from the west, uh, although I think for the most part we'll probably stay generally cloudy. We, the western counties could see some clearing. Tuesday, the trough is by us, and we're coming under a bit of a ridge pattern, and so that should dry us out nicely uh, with surface high coming into the area from the Great Lakes. We stay dry on Wednesday with the ridge in place, uh, despite the fact that we do have a little bit of a closed low over uh, uh, about New York City. The pattern stays basically dry into Thursday, but I think by Thursday afternoon or evening we could see uh, some showers developing as we see a nice trough, uh, nice digging trough developing to our west. And along with that, we're getting nice southerly flow, bringing moisture back into the picture. So uh, we'll, we'll have to be watching on the timing for this, but I think probably for the most part Thursday will stay generally dry at least until afternoon hours. That trough moves into the area on Friday, and with it, a nice surface low that moves from Kansas up into the western Great Lakes. Uh, fairly substantial surface low, too, at uh, 982 low, and dragging a cold front down across the Ohio and Tennessee River Valleys. So right now, it looks like uh, Friday night football could be dry. We'll have to 
judge the timing of this uh, with later model runs, but uh, and because we are getting out about five days here, so but at least with this run, it looks like Friday night could be dry as the the rain should be ending by uh, afternoon hours. That strong trough uh, does dig in as the main energy swings through the mid-Atlantic states. And once again, that should dry us out beautifully for Saturday with a nice day and a high pressure settling in, bringing in some cooler air with uh, temperatures dropping, highs in the 70s and lows in the 50s with some spots uh, Saturday and Sunday morning possibly getting into the um, 40s, especially some of those cooler spots. Uh, by Sunday, uh, we see the broad trough over the eastern half of the country. Going out into voodoo country, uh, the GFS maintains that uh, trough with slight ridging through the 7th of October. So uh, a good, good deal of uh, fairly dry weather there. But by the end of the period, around the 13th, it's developing another substantial trough uh, coming across the central plains. So uh, the pattern staying somewhat active, uh, even though October is our driest month of the year. It does look like the pattern is remaining somewhat active. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video. James Spann should be back with the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for notes on the latest weather developments.